Hey everyone, Game Master Cody here again. Now we're going back to under. We're going to go to under pressure, the first swimming level. I think it's pretty fun. They're more fun in this game than they were in a uh, Wrath of Cortex on the PS2. Those were just annoying, but these are actually pretty fun. And this one, there's 92 boxes we got to break. And this one squares spin as usual. Circle spins as well because you can't slide underwater. And R1 also spins. And you spin and go forward. So, and X makes you swim faster, which is important for time trial mode. Let's trick this mine. Swim underneath the little puffer fish. And go down here. You don't want to touch those things or it'll electrocute you. Those were eels, we need to watch out for those eels. Spin through those sharks. Again, go either over or under the mine. Get us the checkpoint. This thing's not really difficult. Just go down to the sides and break the boxes. Pretty easy. Now we get a jet sub. We square to break to is the missiles. And circle is a little turbo dash. And don't forget to break the coral because there's hidden boxes behind the coral. So it's always good you want to keep the sub, because if you uh, lose the sub by getting hit. You won't be able to break open those boxes and you won't get the gem. We can blow up the mines. Alright, this little area is tricky in time trial mode because you can be really fast. Just for now, we're going to go up and over. In time trial mode, you want to dart through it. We can get the best time. time theme of this level. I think this is around the time that Atlantis was formed, because I can see that back structure back there, if you look really closely. I think this is the time of the city of Atlantis. I'll put this around 800 or 900 BC. That's my opinion. All of these time levels, or the, the approximate time is all my thoughts on it. So don't be like, oh, you got it wrong. It's just my opinion. Everyone. Everyone's got one. So, so I'll be cool about that. We got that crystal. And we got one more shark to get. And we got that gym. We're doing good. And there we go. We have finished this level. Alright, this time we're going to go for that relic, and I'm going for platinum. I will settle for nothing less than platinum, because I can easily get a platinum on this level. As you can see, my three really good times. So that's what I'm going to do. And I saw a video where a guy was able to blow stuff up, and come back to the clock, so I'm going to try that, just to see what happens. And if not, I'll reset it. there. What in the world? See? I don't get that. Sorry about that. I'll forget it this time. Sorry for that little waste. This time I won't uh, let that happen. So I'm going straight for that clock and I'm gone. Again, you want to spin fast and just keep moving.
Ah, I missed the time box. That's not good. Oh, I can still get platinum. This is one of my best levels. Just kind of shoot down and aim for the three box. And skip the rest of the ledges. Don't be afraid to shoot and move. trick I told you about if I can get it right. There we go, haha. -ha. Well, couldn't be my best time. Oh well, I'm still getting a platinum. Haha, -ha. see, platinum's easy to get on this level. And no new time. Oh, well, I had a lot of practice when I got my 55 second time. The platinum time for that level was a minute 17, and I did it in a minute 6, so I still have plenty of time to spare. Sorry, you wanted to do a happy dance. Alright, this is Game Master Cody signing out. And next time we'll do Orient Express. The first level with Coco is the primary character.